Welcome to Youth Voices Live. It is uh, the 13th of uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, Friday the 13th. Um, do you guys know that tomorrow is Pi Day? It's uh, Pi Day. Uh, what? I talked at once. Yeah, look at the date. Anyway, figure that out. So, welcome to Youth Voices Live. Um, and, and today, um, Karen and I are going to be moderating. I may have to go in and out a little bit. Um, but uh, we have, looks like, three students from Okemos, um, Michigan, and three students from Oakland, California. Um, and welcome, everybody. And we may have a couple coming over from New Direction Secondary School. Um, so the way we've been thinking about this, and this is all very new to us. Oh, you fixed the echo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm totally transparent. I'm trying not to interrupt. So, so, yeah, I know. Okay, sorry. Um, the way we've been thinking about these get-togethers is that we would um, have a question, an issue, and um, there's an organization called Ask B Big Questions, um, and they usually work with college folks, so we're experimenting with working with some of their questions and some of their um, texts. And the, tech, the question this week, this month, I should say, um, that, that, that they've posed is, what advantages do you have? Um, it gets into issues of race and class and you know all, all sorts of interesting things. Um, but we want to start by having the six of you, and if I can get a couple more, um, just start by talking about yourself. Right, starting with the, uh, your own story about one way. So I'm giving you a chance to think about this. If you have a, if you want to jot some notes, that's a good thing to do too. But one way you feel fortunate in your own life. Fortunate. Right. So just think about a way that you feel fortunate in your own life. It may be a funny question to ask, but that's what we're thinking about. And there is a text, a uh, spoken word poem that um, we'd love for you to look at, and we maybe will talk about toward the end here a little bit. But um, we'll talk about that more next week, if that makes any sense. I think it does. Um, so start with your names again, and could we start up there in Michigan? Um, David, I'm going to call on you first. Hey, Bob. What? Forget it. It's Deva. It's Deva. Deva. Um, I'm sorry. The AVA? You're good. Okay. Deva, sorry to mess with your name so much. Could you introduce yourself and then answer that question? One way that you feel fortunate in your own life. You could also talk about how you feel about the question first. Whatever it comes to mind. You're asking me why I feel fortunate? Yeah. I feel fortunate because I was born. That's cool, David. We're gonna we're gonna accept that and we're gonna move on and let's um we'll come back if we'll come back if you'd like to. Uh, so Charles next. Yeah. So. As some of you may know, I'm Charles. I'm fortunate because my skin color is Got to speak up a little more. We missed half of that. I did this. I'm fortunate because my skin color is easy. fights. I go to tattoos and I need to. I felt like I wanted to talk about it. Okay. He's black. He's black. Okay. So you're saying you're fortunate because you can fight? Because of your no, skin? No, I'm fortunate because I don't have to fight. Well, it's, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Because, uh, 
they're in a fight and but they're scared of me. Got it. Jim? Guys, you gotta find where the microphone is and speak right into it. I think I'm going to put it because um, I was born in my country, Korea, because my country has like unique part, like so we are divided into north and south. So when I was young, I thought it's like you know, we can't be unified right now. But I think now, like because of our, our country is like divided, I think we can understand more about like sadness of missing family and I think I can understand more about like um, people who can't meet or like yeah things so I think I learn a lot from my country Thank you. nice thanks for muting Paul that really helped a ton <laughs> next person at Okamas Apparently he just wants to watch. But apparently two of them just want to watch. Who's behind you, Charles? That's this one or this uh -huh. one? The other one. You know Dave, right? I, I just want to watch. So. That's fine. Well, I just want to know your name again. Uh, Brandon. Okay, cool. All right, we'll jump in if you feel like it, and if you don't feel like it, that's cool too. So. And the shy person is talking or not talking? <laughs> I forgot his name. Did he even tell us his name? He's Elmez. Elmez. Okay. Okay. Okay, so shall we move to Oakland? Yeah, go ahead. Oakland, Sanjoy. Um, um, I feel fortunate for coming to the U.S. Well, because is that in my country, there's no, like, there is no opportunity out there, but like coming to the U.S., I feel like there's a lot of um, opportunity and, you know, have a better life in here. Cool. And where are you from? I'm from Philippines. Okay, cool. Nice. Who else is with us? Uh, my name is Alma, and something I'm fortunate about is um, having uh, caring parents and hardworking parents that support me. My name is Jessica. I'm a. No! <laughs> I'm I, feel uh, I feel fortunate of having. What's, what's, what's your name? I'm sorry. Jessica? Okay. I'm a fortunate of having an education because my parents didn't have a chance of actually having an education. They had to work, so I have more advantages of them being successful. Cool. Thanks. 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 Good thoughts. Anybody have, anybody want to, so some of the things that we, you talked about were like just being an American or being here. Anything more personal, like relative to other people in your school or other friends you have, advantages that you have? Speaking to oh, well, I'll, okay, go ahead. Oh, I have more an advantage of speaking to other people. Like I speak English and Spanish, so I can speak to different like, social groups. That's awesome. I think being able to speak two languages is so great. I'm trying to learn Spanish right now and it's so hard for me, especially as an adult. I think it's harder. But I like I like your saying like having both languages. That's such a huge advantage like when you go to get a job and everything. Cool. What else? Okamas, jump in when you guys want. Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, what what advantages, so some of the advantages people talked about were just like being in America or, or advantages that we all have. Um, but if you think about more personally compared to your friends, like Charles, yours was really personal, that when people look at you, they're, you know, they don't, they, they don't get in your face, right? Right. Yeah. My husband is really big and he says that all the time that he, you know, people don't people don't mess with him. But sometimes he feels like that's a disadvantage because he feels like people are afraid of him and he's not a scary person. Oh, <laughs> 
but I've seen how they look at me and they're just like, sort of like, does he want to do something crazy? Or mm-hmm. just like, they look at me cross-eyed. And that's all my mm-hmm. dad would say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? But you feel like that's an advantage and not a disadvantage ever? I mean, it definitely keeps me away from certain people that would be at a disadvantage for me. But then again, it also keeps the people that are in the situation. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool. Any other? Cool. Hey, can I come? Oh, Jen wants to say something. Go. Oh, okay. Um, I want to talk one more. Uh, I think I'm fortunate because, like, I'm here in America, so like I'm a new friend. Can learn language and yeah, so like learning cursors. I think is pretty cool. Nice. I'm just, I'm giving anybody time to jump in who wants to. You all raised a lot of good points. I don't know what you're talking about, like, advantages of being here in America. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, because... I learned like I, I went to school in Korea and I came to school in here so I learned kind of differences about like the education system. Like in Korea we're really like um like one way communication. Like we usually like say do this and like the students have to like follow it. Like here I think we were like more communicate with each other and like more comfortable like When did you come here, Jen? Um Last August. Wow. Oh, damn. Did you know English before that? Sure, I learned like when I was young. Yeah, your English is great. Thank you. <laughs> did, you th- did you find it hard, the differences in the education system, like to have it be two-way and have it be more, was that hard for you to adjust to? Oh, um, man, like, 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 I have to say everything English is a little bit difficult, but actually, like, I think education system like here is more easier than Korea, like because we have to study really a lot in Korea, mm. more flexible. Yeah. We can mm-hmm. rest. Cool. Charles, you had something you were gonna say. Did you forget <laughs> it? I mean, the advantage of being born here, I don't know. From originally, my I'm I have different parts of my family from everywhere. I know places where they've come from, it's really bad. It was, they had a good such bad childhood. They had a good childhood because they had an amazing family and their parents loved them and all that. But then again, they, had, they, they were poor. So I know that was with my grandfather. And he came here from Guadalupe and um, came here to study medicine. So I have a better French name for him, but his family wasn't rich. He got here, um, and I know he told me his English was never good, so it was really hard to understand people and talk. So, so yeah, I know that if I was born there, um, I would have had to make the same transition with him. Mm-hmm. So do you think having that background is an advantage to you? I think it is because um, I might not have hands-on knowledge of the exact exact time period and the exact happenings, but I have my grandfather's stories and what he has said. Mm-hmm. So I know a bit of what that really felt like. So, yeah. Nice. Anybody from Oakland want to jump in, or Paul, do you have somebody yeah, there you want to say? I have a student who says she's shy, but she's old enough to sit here next oh my to me. Okay. That's cool. Great. Do you want to say your name? Hi, my name is Tim. And one way you feel fortunate in your life. You don't have to. Okay, but did you think of something? What was the first thing? You, I thought you had something. 
Okay. So uh, you can just listen and, and see what happens, okay? <laughs> okay. One, one question I thought to ask is to ask you all to think about um, how you feel about talking about people, people being privileged or not privileged being given who they are. Like, how do, how do you feel about this topic? Um, oh, yeah, more people having Right, and privileged, that's a, it's an interesting word because privilege to me is a little bit different than just what advantage you have. Does that seem different to you? Yes. Um, to me, I think privilege and advantage are two completely different things. I think advantage is something that um, you have. Charles, for, Charles, you got to lean in a little bit. Speak up a little bit. to the mic. I was, I was uh, what I was saying was I think advantage and privilege are two completely different things. Uh, advantage, you know, privilege is something that you're either born with because your family has it, or you earn it one way or another. Advantage is something that you sort of have just because of something else. I know they sort of sound similar, but I just feel like they're different. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Any other thoughts about differences between privilege and advantage? Nope. Privilege seems like somehow it's from the outside, kind of. <laughs> well, I think is that privilege is like something you're right. You know, you have more rights or you don't have no rights. It's based upon whether you have it or not. Hmm. How do you feel about talking about this thing of privilege? Like, does it feel comfortable or weird? Or I feel comfortable talking about it. And I, I, I actually, I really like it, like talking to that other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. What do you think about what privileges other people have? So we've talked about sort of what, what advantages and what privileges. What about other people? Like, can you think of people who you think, oh, they have some huge privilege that is different? People you know? I have some friends that, I mean, I'm not exactly a, well, no, I'm not poor at all. I mean, I would say I'm pretty well off. And my dad often says to me, um, you think this just comes because you're born? No, you're a very privileged child because your parents love you, and your mom is a very hard worker, and he's a hard, very, he's a very hard worker too. Since both of my parents were raised, it's just great. The idea that hard work pays off. Um, both of them are just well because of that. We're, we're very well off, and then I have other friends here that um are just oh so yeah. You get to go to the cottage uh, over spring break or you're going to the cottage this weekend. I'm just like, so you have a, another home that you currently have, but you have two homes. It's like, yeah, and I think that's that's another form of privilege, being able to get a place like that. And why don't you say that? Why? I just said... In Charles's case, that'd be a privilege and an advantage. Why? Can you hear anything I'm saying? Yeah, we hear you. All right. Now, I was just saying that he has a privilege because, I mean, you know, he has that kind of background and whatnot. But I also think it's an advantage for the same reason because since he has, he's like, you know, he comes from a wealthy family, he has more of an opportunity, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So that that's another you said the word opportunity, right? That's another word to hold on to. Um 
So another way to pose the question is, how do you feel about? I, mean, I, I would pose it as a fact but that people in our society, have, different people have different opportunities. In life. And like, how do your opportunity? How do people's opportunities? How does that relate to privilege? Or does it relate to privilege? Or where, you know, where do you see that people's opportunities are bigger or smaller because of privilege they have? I feel like it depends. Mostly, it depends on what your grades and like their opportunity depends on their grades as much as their family history or their skin color. I know there are some people who. It doesn't matter about the grades, they could be the dumbest person ever and they could have no skill whatsoever. But they're the one getting promoted because all the other choices having different skin color from someone else. I know that's also in family businesses where the firstborn or somebody else who's working with the family, that's maybe a friend of the family or to somebody who needed a job, um, they had more skill than the next person in line to get it. But the next person in line to get it got it instead because they just happened to be mm -hmm. in that person's group. Can you speak that's up? Perfect. The person who got the job ended up, um, who was the person who was either closer to the person or had the same views in person. And I have an example. My name, Charles, mm -hmm. my dad gave me that name so that when they were, when uh, my boss or whoever was reading it, they would have an open mind because if he had given me, if he, if he had given me some open mind, like I don't know how you would say a, a ghetto name or something like that, find Rayshawn or Lamar, a name like that, they would have looked, they would have looked at the name. They would have looked so it, it, per, people say that I have a white person name, and I do. And that's okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see what this person has to say, and it gives me so, the better chances to get them a better opportunity. Lean engine. I think privilege is kind of sometimes related to like um, economy, I think. It's like, if you're um, if you have a lot of money, you're rich. Like I think you can like do whatever you want, and, like, whatever you want. But like, um, if you need money, then maybe they have to like. Um, maybe they want something, but maybe they have to like. Um, Lean into the microphone a little bit so we can hear you. So I, I heard think, the first part. Yeah. Oh, so I think. Um, like privilege, kind of like related to the economy. I have something to say. Go. Well, I think is that like living here under this society, I believe is that. Um, well, I'm not being racist, but or being prejudiced, but I feel like white people has more privilege than any other culture, and yeah. Where do you see that happening? Like, where do you see that privilege resulting in either opportunity or more advantage? Just like, examples. For example, like job. Like most, like most of Africans Americans compared to whites, they're not they're not receiving equal opportunity or equal job in the society. Or also is also is that like the fact is that like some immigrants are they're not citizens. America, most of some, some of them are not citizens, so they're not able to have the right to vote, unlike to, the, to those people who are born here. Mm -hmm. Do you think even immigrants who are citizens have different level of advantage than? Yes, but it is still because, like, I don't know how to explain that. It's bad. Can you can you repeat your question? 
Yeah, well, you were talking about immigrants who aren't citizens, and I was wondering, like, even immigrants who are citizens, do they have different? Do you do you see them having different level of privilege than people who were born in the United States? Um, well, they still have. Well, if they're citizens, then they have the right to vote and mm -hmm. do other stuff. Like, but comparing to those people who are not citizens, they can't do a lot of stuff. Like. There's a lot of limited things to do. For example, it's like applying for a scholarship. I'm not citizen, and then most of the scholarship that I receive, I, the requirement I need to be like um, a citizen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to be born citizen. So I feel like not, yeah, my disadvantage is that not being citizen, I wouldn't be able like, to do other stuff. Right. And that's interesting because that's, that's a formal sort of advantage like some of the stuff we were talking about before it's how people just perceive each other like people look at you and they think something but things like if you can't if you can't apply for scholarships and I know that varies somewhat state to state too but that's actually like I mean that's formal that's not even anybody's perception right mm -hmm. is, uh, looks like Michigan is frozen <laughs> oh, they look good. You're there. You're good. You were just still. Uh, uh. So I just wanted to uh, grab another word there, and you know, I think it's good not to start with this word, but you just said disadvantage. So that's worth noting too that we all have various levels of disadvantage. Um, but I, I just want to say personally, I like that the way you. The six of you introduced yourselves. You broke down the sort of black-white question really fast. Like you guys made it really complicated in a good way. Mm. Yeah, you know, I just I just want to say I think the harsh truth if, uh, behind privilege is uh, money, and I think that's because I feel like more more people people that have more money have like more privileges and people that don't like you know they have more problems in society because they really don't have the money to you know uh, pay for anything and I think you need currency to survive. I would say another harsh truth about um, privilege is um, race which is what I said earlier but Fact of the matter is, there's always that one person. My dad always tells me, "I have to work as hard as I can. I have to be that. I have to be way better than the other person because I could be a tiny bit better than a white person, but the white person has a job, and there's always a possibility that you could be way better, but the person just happens to be just a tiny bit prejudiced or a lot prejudiced, and." He's just like, no, I, I don't like African Americans working for me. Or I don't like, or you just don't like certain cultures or certain races. And, and it doesn't matter how skilled you are. It all depends on the person who has the money. Like we said earlier, privilege comes, well, with money comes privilege, along with racism. So. Thank you so much. So, um, oh, oh, that's okay. oh, did I? No, we're good. Oh, um, we haven't heard from everyone in Oakland so much. The two of you who haven't spoken much, do you want to jump in and say what you're thinking? I'm putting you on the spot a little bit. Can you can you um, bring back the topic again? Yeah. Like, what is it again? Well, I, I could identify some of the words. We started with the word fortunate in your life. Um, some of the other words that have come up are privilege and disadvantage and advantage. And we've talked about race. Um, and Deva out there has uh, emphasized money is is what privilege comes from. I think. What you said. So, just like, 
how do you feel about these topics? How, do you think about them, or what's up with you at this point in this conversation? <laughs> we're, we're kind of getting to the end for, for this week. I wanted to try to get your voices in there quickly. Um, well, I would say, in general, um, we're living like this, and people have disadvantages and advantages and certain things. And I think it's focused mostly on your ethnic background and where you come from and, you know, your color, skin color. That's a major issue. But it also, like they mentioned, it's money-wise. The who has, who's in power is who has more money or economically, the people who are above you will always, like, have more advantages. I don't know what else to say. Going back to the money, also, like, money, like, gives you more advantages in the fact that, like, you can get certain things and other people, mm -hmm. such as, like, sometimes in a, in a job, like, in an interview, you can't look as professional as you want because of maybe of the money issue. Or maybe you don't even know, you don't, even, you don't have to actually um, know the skill of a certain job, but just because of your race, that also gives you, would you more. Denied. You would be denied just because of like, Going back to how your name doesn't go with like with your race, and they assume you're someone else just based on your name and last name. I want to ask everybody, especially looking at our Oakland group where we have three young ladies. Nobody's talked about gender. Do you do you think yeah. do you think that's ever a, an advantage or disadvantage or gives you privilege or not? In what ways? And Okamis jump in on this too. I think it does because sometimes women want to do the, the same jobs that guys want to do, but just because you're a woman, they think they're not <laughs> capable of doing the same yeah. job. Well, the world, the word feminism is like kind of it. Um, like I feel like some. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think is that like some women don't have no authority or right like have more privilege than other men. Well, you could see people who are working in the government, Government, they're mainly um, men, and there's no woman, or there's no single president become a woman. So it's crazy that the fact that um, I felt like um, guys have more privilege than other women, I guess, than other gender. So I know you guys need to go. Does yeah, Okamis, do you want to pick up on this? And then maybe we'll pick up with this next week and then talk more about the um, written piece on the uh, same topic sort of next week, okay? Yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted to say that I don't know about uh, privilege or whatnot, but I know a lot about stereotype. Mm -hmm. well, that's, that's totally related, right? Yeah. Um, yes, like so. about the privilege and like this privilege about like economical. I really think we need to like figure out about like welfare, like social welfare. So like, um, people can't really feel about like about money thing. I think um the people feel disadvantage about money is really. Um, Maybe it's a little bit out of topic. Um, I I have something to add for the for the genders is that um male generally get paid more money than females. Yes. If they work the same job. So like let's say you're a cashier at Kohl's or something or at Walmart, and then there's also another female cashier. You both be working the same job, but the male be getting more money. So that's an advantage, and that's a, that's a good connection between gender and economics, right? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of this stuff is connected together. Yeah, and what I would add, and I think the text, just at the end here, the, 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 the text so we could. That we're asking you to look at, and I know I'm going to, just one, one quick thought is that not everybody thinks about these things. A lot of people think that everybody is equal, and they you know people don't have different advantages. So, what's the impact on people when if your advantage is not talked about, is not recognized, is not acknowledged? Um, it's worth thinking about too. That's a good thing to pick up on next week. So, yeah, thank you. Um, we'll check in with you all again next week. Um, yes. Okay.
Bye. 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 Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend. Thank you. <laughs>